Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about application of derivative. So now I will show you how to answer. A man launches his boat from point A on a bend of a straight river 3 kilometers wide and wants to reach point B. And we have 8 kilometers downstream on the opposite bank as quickly as possible. He could row his boat across the river to point C and then run to B. Or he could row directly to B or he could row to some point D between B and C and then run to B. If he can row 6 kilometers per hour and run 8 kilometers per hour, where should he land to reach B as soon as possible? So now I will show you how to answer. Here is about the figure in here. We know that this is about 3 kilometers of the river and we downstream in here. The question they want to find where is the location of where is the location of the on CB to make sure that when the man try to go to A to D and B and the time for this one should be about the shortest. So now I will show you how to answer. Now I will put about C D equals to S and we know that this is about the length. The length should be about the positive number. So I would put S in here. Now let's consider about A C C D and A D. We can see that this is about the right triangle. So we want to find the the length of AD in here. We can use about by Tarrant theorem. So in this situation, we have AC square plus CD square equals to AD squared. So AC we have 3. We put number 3 in here. CD we have S. We put S in here. And AD that's about the value in here. So this is about number 9. And we put the square root for the both side. We have 9 plus s square equals to ad. Now let's go to db. If we have the value cd, we can find the value of db. That should be about db equals to cb minus CD CB we have 8 CD we have S and now we just finish about AD and DB the next one we need to find the time time that is about the distance We divide by velocity. So we can create about the function in here. So the distance about AD that's it on the river. And we know that the velocity on the river we can do that's it about 6 kilometers per hour. So AD, we have the distance. We divide by velocity in here. That's about number 6. The next one, we have DB. 
we run on the bank of the river, so we have a minus s, and the velocity of running that's about eight. So we put a in here, and now we just finish about the setup about the function. Now we want to find the location of d to make sure that we can get the smallest time or the shortest time in here. So we need to find first the derivative of the function. So we will do first the derivative of this one and this one. So we have 1 over 6 I will put in here. First the derivative of the square root of 9 plus s square. We will have about number 2 multiplied by the square root of 9 plus s square. Later that we continue continue do first the derivative on numerator. A divided by A, we have number 1. First, the derivative of number 1, you got about 0. This one, negative S over A. If we do first, the derivative of negative S, we have number 1 with the negative. So we put about negative 1 over A. First, the derivative of 9 plus S square, S square in here. We have two s. So number two divide by number two. Now, we can put about first the derivative of the function equals to number 0. That means we put this one equals to number 0. Now, we need to find the value of s. I will put negative 1 over a go to the right. This one we put on the left, 6 and the square root of 9 plus s square will go to the right. We divide both sides by number 2. Next, we put the square for the both sides. This one we have 16 s square equals to number 9 multiplied by 9 plus s square. So number 9 multiplied by number 9 and s square. So I will put this one go to the left. And we have 16 s square minus 9 s square. We have 7 s square equals to 81. Later that we divide both sides by number 7. If we put about the square root for the both side, we have s equal to number 9 over the square root of number 7 and s equals to negative number 9 over the square root of number 7. But on the condition, we put about s equal to number 0. Uh, s is richer than number 0. Sorry about that. That means they, they should be about the positive number. So we need to reject about this one. And we need to accept about this number in here. So after we got about s equals to number 9 over the square root of number 7, we can put into the function in here. So 
So that should be about this one. So we put inside the calculator and we got A plus the square root of number 7 over 8. So S in here, that's A about the location we can get the smallest time travel from A to B. So if they want to find the value we just put about this number going here and this one approximate about 3.402 kilometers and the time for this one we have our in here that should be about one boy three three zero seven two hours and this is the final answer we need to find in here this is the end thank you for watching